What's up people? This is the Oracle and we are back online for a Vintage Cube Draft which is finally available, one of my favorite set uh, ever pretty much if you did not know. Uh, this pack doesn't seem super strong like it, it, it's more looking like a Legacy Cube Draft um, pack. Still pretty good, I think I'll go with Coalition Relic. Very good mana, fixing and acceleration. It's also It also lets us stay quite open. I think it's a solid card. I could see first picking 10 drills out of this pack, because, mostly because I love to play Storm, but it's m much weaker than Coalition Relic, so I think we should just go with that. And yeah, hopefully... I, I don't know, I mean, this is good in any pretty much any deck, I think. Uh, unless you are like Mono Red Beatdown with very low curve, but we could end up playing uh, some type of artifact deck too, which could be cool. I guess we'll see. Um, Grim Tutor is fine, but still much weaker than uh, Diabolic Tutor. Mod is fine. Time Spiral is cool. Really do like Time Spiral in the Storm Depth. Storm deck, which I kind of want to try to draft today. Um, I don't know. This is how I feel. I feel like storming out. So storming out. Um, I don't know. I feel like the safest, maybe strongest pick is Grim Tutor. Uh, Recruiter of the Guard is a cool addition to the Vintage Cube, though, by the way. But I don't think this is what we will try to do here. Yeah, I think I'll just pick Time Spiral. Hope to wield tendrils and maybe we can build a sweet storm deck. Coalition relic being quite solid in storm. Okay, well if we are looking to play storm, frantic search is a pretty sweet one. Bribery is not a card I'm a huge fan of, but it's pretty strong, pretty powerful, obviously. Uh, Dark Faden is actually extremely powerful. Maybe we should just pick that, especially in vintage cube. Pretty much everyone is gonna play some artifact. Like even decks that don't usually play artifact might have artifact because you know they got a mox or something. There are the signets which are you know being played in a lot of decks too. A very powerful card. Um, Frantic search is a bit more dedicated towards playing storm, but I think much weaker too. I think we'll just go with Stack Fade, and that that card is like really good. Magus of the Wheel is pretty sweet. Uh, funny card. Basically, it gives you Yogmos Wheel. Um, much weaker than Yogmos Wheel in a Storm deck, though I think. Um, so I'm not sure that I want to pick that. Ancient Tomb is solid. Works pretty well with any type of type time spiral or um, frantic search card that and tap lands. And tap lands. Chalice is decent. Bolt is fine, but not not really something I'm I'm looking for that badly. Uh, I think I'll go with Tomb. Do like that card a fair amount. And yeah, again, works pretty well in Storm in general, and pretty well with the untapped lands cards. <laughs> I think I will just end, well, there is a consecrated Sphinx, which is very powerful, especially if I don't end up playing a uh, Storm. I think I'm gonna pick that, just because it's a very good blue card, and I might just end up playing some type of blue control-ish deck. Um, I do like It's a Charm a lot, but I think it's just weaker. Pyromancer is sweet too, but weaker. I think if I knew that I would be a uh, Storm for sure, I could see you know, picking the Borsing net, but I think Sphinx is just safer and better right now, as we don't have a lot of inform, you know, not as much information as we, as we need to assess what we will be playing. Uh, well, I guess this is more and more shaping up like a control deck than a storm deck, so we probably should just pick Tamio, which is a good planeswalker in a control deck. 
Uh, Palinkran is, pl you know, you can play a, a Palinkran Storm deck with if, if you can get uh, Heartbeat of the Spring, but Heartbeat, Heartbeat of the Spring was in the last pack we saw. And again, I think we are moving out of Storm slowly, but pretty surely, so yeah, I think I'll just pick Daniel. Elf Pass and Champion is very powerful late game planeswalker. I, I don't really have any reason to go white right now, but this could be fine. There is Seasing Song for the Storm deck, but again, I think we are moving out of that. Inquisition is fine, but we are not really black right now. And if I want to pick a you know a card that's that not a card that's not blue or red, I think it's going to be Elf Pass. Tada Adele is fine, but I think it's you know, it's weaker than Dick Dak Faden, and it's more of a sideboard option. I think I'll just go with Elspeth. Um, okay, two pretty good cards for Storm here. Brain Freeze and Dark Ritual. Since there's nothing else I'm really interested in, I'm gonna pick Brain Freeze, because there's still a chance I end up playing Storm, given that I have Time Spiral, a bit of acceleration, but I guess we'll see. Uh, the thing is, I will not get to have Dark Ritual. In a way, there's not really any good card for a control blue-white red deck here. I don't think you want to play Magus, Armageddon, or... Well, Vendal is fine sideboard option, but I think I'd rather pick Brain Freeze on the off chance that I do end up playing Storm. Do like Fire and Ice more than Magma Chat. Um, I think I should just pick Wrath of God, though. Could use one sweeper. It's pretty free there, or as there's not much in the pack. I have Elspeth, so I have you know already a reason to maybe go white, and we might just end up playing a pretty standard, not so funny but hopefully e efficient blue-white control deck. <coughs> if I can, I will try to splash for deck Faden because it's very powerful. But I think we'll, we will end up being base blue-white. Pretty sure this was a pack with uh, Tenders of Agony. And it did not wheel, so yeah. Don't feel don't feel like storm is what we will end up doing. <laughs> uh, Cloud skate is fine, but I think it's a little bit too slow in the vintage tube actually. <coughs> and I do like having kitchen things in the side for my matchup against uh, Moon Red Burn. So yeah, I'll just pick that. And lighted tutor is looking. Decent. Uh, we can fetch up a removal, very good removal by the way, or a very good mana accelerant. Yeah, it's looking yeah, it's looking solid here. Uh, I guess this is decent against red burn deck. Yeah, well. I clicked too late and we got hard bit of spring. I don't think it matters too much. Hero of Blade Ode is fine. It can surprise people. Especially if you you have a main deck with very few creatures and they board out some of their creature. I mean some some of their removal and then you can put that in the main for a game too. I think it's it's very powerful. I don't like Archangel of Tune as much because it's in a deck with not many creatures it's just not really gonna kill very efficiently, but yeah, I do like Hero a lot. Shuantel is probably my favorite card in the entire cube. Uh, it's probably not the strongest card, but I love it. Uh, I might just want to pick that and try to get uh, an Eldrazi or something. I just love doing that. It's you know it's you know it feels like a disease that I should you know cure, but each time I sh I, I, I see a Shuantel and I'm blue, whatever might be my deck, I'm gonna try to pick it. Uh, Disenchant is quite good, I think, in Vintage Cube, you can main deck that. Um, I, I think the safest and maybe stronger pick is just Jace, or Arin Mesa, which actually uh, could help us fetch for a Tundra or a um, Hallowed Fountain, and would also help splashing for Dak Faden. I don't know. I, 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 I love Shuntel too much, I have to pick it, sorry. <laughs> We might not even end up with something to to put into the battlefield, but oh well. I'm gonna pick Force of Will here. Uh, love that card in Legacy Cube. I think it's even more important in Vintage Cube because people are doing a lot of broken stuff quite early in the game and 
having some counter spell that you can cast pretty much no matter what is, is, is quite great. Right now we don't have a ton of blue cards, but hopefully we'll get there. And there's actually not <laughs> not really anything else I'd be interested in. Spell Skite is more of a sideboard option. Sun Titan is not really what we need, as we have some better 6 drops slash finishers, and it's not powerful enough to want to use Show and Tell with. Trop is cool, but we don't really want to splash for green right now. Yeah, I think it's, it's pretty much a no-brainer here. Okay, interesting choice here. Uh, Frost Titan I don't think is what we need, because again, we I think Sphinx plus Elspeth is pretty much good enough as what we need for our finishers. We also have Tamio and Chuantel and maybe Back Faden, so I don't think we re we are really looking for more finishers. And Frost Titan is much weaker than the one we have. Knight is fine but not great, I don't really like it in control deck. So I think the choice is basically between Face Feathers, which is a card I love, very good removal, great against a aggro deck, just I love that card. Or Blightseal Colossus, which are, uh, you know, we picked a show and tell, so I guess <laughs> we might want to have a pretty fat dude to put into the battlefield. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd rather use show and tell with Eldrazi. I feel like since I picked show and tell, I kind of have to pick something big now. But it's probably not the right pick. It's just my, it's just my show and tell disease that's uh, taking over more than anything else. So you should probably have a Jace and a Face Feathers in this deck. But it would be a little bit less funny, right? So, yeah. <laughs> there is that. Okay, Kozilek is another one you can show and tell. If, had I known I would get a pretty free Kozilek here, because there's nothing, al nothing else I'm interested in, I would have picked the Face Feathers last pack, but... I wanted to make sure I had a good target for show and tell. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying target, but obviously this does not target. Uh... Yeah, well, I guess we'll pick Kozlak. Ooh, I do like Council's Judgment a lot. This card can deal with stuff that are really tough to deal with, like, I don't know, True Name Nemesis, uh, Progenitus. Uh, having that card in a control deck is, I think, great. Now, there is Fact of Fiction, which is amazing too, so it's kind of tough. Uh, Temple of Enlightenment would be cool, but I think it's not strong enough where I want to pick it over Council Judgment or Foth. I already have a Banishing Light, so maybe f Judgment is a little bit less appealing, even though it's slightly better. Foth has the advantage of being pitchable to Force of Will, which is cool. Um, it's really tough. I, I really love both cards in Blue-White Control. I think I'm going to go with Foth, though. Not a huge fan of Things Rev. I think it's just cost too much mana. Uh, if I have a ton of acceleration, I'm fine playing that, but I don't really have a ton of acceleration at all, so not thrilled about that. I am not a huge fan of top, especially since we don't have any way to shuffle our libra library right now, except for... No, we don't have any way, actually. Never mind. Never mind. Pestamite is sweet, but we are not really doing that today. Blade Splicer is fine, but not really what we are trying to do. I think I might just pick Thirst. Which is a blue card and an instant speed way to draw card. It's kind of decent if we are playing Blightsteel Colossus too. Because you can just, you know, shuffle it back into your deck. Uh, and we could get some more artifacts. Uh, I think it's just a better draw spell than Sphinx Rev in this type of deck in this cube. Um, though Sphinx Rev is a bit more powerful in general. I think Duplicant is fine, especially since we got the Search for Knowledge. It's an artifact. It's solid, it's fine, it's reinvolved. It's not great, but I don't think we are looking to be playing Revelar or Lutril Core there, so yeah, we'll just pick that. Through the Breach. Huh. There's a Plateau, which is nice for Dak Faden, but... <laughs> we have Blight still like, and Kha'Zix, like, like this, <laughs> this must be put in the deck, right? Am I not right? Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. My my disease is de definitely taking over. Like uh, the, <laughs> the alien in my brain is just you know it's just making peaks. But uh, hopefully we'll get <laughs> a good deck, uh, even despite this. Here I think it's pretty clear cut Iron Mesa, especially since we took 
through the breach. Um, that's nice. I don't think we'll get enough red where Chandra is going to be a good playable. But I don't think I will end up playing Spectral Procession either, so I'm going to pick that. And who knows, if we get crazy good fixing, maybe I'll play it. Ooh, we will face Feathers. That's amazing. That is amazing. Okay, well the deck is actually looking pretty solid. I mean, th 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 there is these four cards that maybe should not be there. But other than that, we have solid tools for a nice control deck. Uh, okay, we will the Rev, which I don't think I will play. Again, I don't love that card. And I think, well, actually, uh, what did I, oh, I ended up getting the Rev, but I, I think the Mortars might have been a better peak because if we, if, if had we gotten enough red, we could have reliably cast that on turn um, two maybe. And it's a good cheap removal where, given that I have um, Foth, Thirst, uh, and Sphinx, I don't really need more card draw spell, and I think Sphinx is the weakest of my card draw spells here, so, yeah. Here I think we have a pretty clear-cut Mox Pearl. Uh, Library of Alexandria is very strong too, but I think a bit weaker. And given that we have a pretty high curve and a fair amount of card draw spells, I think getting some mana acceleration is better than some card draw engine. I would be happy to will Gideon. Mystical Tutor would probably be fine, especially since we can fetch Chantel with it or through the breach. Remand would be cool. Um, yeah, Library is not willing, but if I could will Gideon, Mystical, or Remand, that'd be that'd be very sweet. Okay. Do love Ponder, um, especially when I'm playing kind of a combo deck. I mean, it's not really combo, but I'm trying to <laughs> to assemble two cards together. Uh, having Ponder in the deck is sweet. Temple of Triumph is fine, but since Arid Mesa wield, I'm pretty f sure this will wield too. Uh, Venzer is another option, but I think I like Ponder more. Um, I think in, in a dedicated control deck, maybe Venzer is just better. It's probably just better. But again, since we are, tra since we are trying to assemble Shuentel, or through the breach with uh, Kozilek or Blightseal, I think having a bit of card selection is quite nice. Here we'll probably just pick Treachery, which is amazingly powerful. Uh, Research is one of my favorite card draw spells, but we don't really need more card draw spells. Um, Anticipate would be a nice card to wield because again, it helps us potentially find our combo pieces. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty clear-cut treachery, though. <laughs> Nothing I love here. Treasure cru Cruise? Cru I'm not even sure how you should pronounce that, but either way, um, it's a good card, but not looking good here. As we, we have, again, we have, I think, enough card draw spells, and they are all better than that. So maybe I just pick Mana Ties. Quicken not looking very good. I mean... Quicken is actually interesting with Shuentel because uh, it's pretty nice to have your Eldrazi enter the battlefield at the end of your opponent's turn. This way you get an attack before uh, they do, if somehow they have a, an Eldrazi of their own or something like that. So it's it's pretty decent actually. It's not looking very good though otherwise. Uh, I don't think Manatize is looking great either. Okay, well, Opposition is the best card here, but we are not going to be able to play that. Might just pick Eidron Archive, it's fine. I think we have enough 6 drop and costly stuff and card draw spells where having some more mana is going to be useful. I'd rather have a 2 drop mana accelerant like any Signet or anything, even off color Signet, but there is nothing better than that for us in, in this pack, I don't think so. Guys, is fine. We don't really win conditions, though. The, the the thing I'm really not happy about right now is the curve. Like, we are really lacking things to cast on turn two, which is annoying. Actually, I should pick Wandering Fumeral. I think making the red splash better is more important than getting gassed when we don't really need win conditions at all. Yeah, that's just better. 
Okay, mana leak is pretty good. Nahiri is cool. It's it it would be good in the deck. It's sweet. It works well with having Kozilek and Blightsteel in the deck. But honestly, uh, I need the I need some two mana spells. Like I don't really need more win conditions or you know card draw spells. I really need to make sure I don't die early on. And mana leak is pretty good at helping me not dying in the first couple turns. Ooh, mana drain. What the hell? Okay, that's that's amazing. That's one of my favorite cards from the Vintage Tube. Very, very powerful. I don't think it should ever go that late. Like, this is what? It's peak mana, li ma mana drain. It's, it's insane. It, it is really insane. Well, getting that mana leak and mana drain that late just makes the deck so much better. It's, it's, it's quite crazy. I don't think we'll end up playing anything here. I don't love any card. Uh... Yeah, I'll just get a Lodis Cobra. Our mana is not great. We do have Coalition Relic though. And we have two fix fixers for red and not many red spells. I guess three fixers for red. Windswept this could be cool, but we are pretty sure we'll not get any Tundra or Hallowed Fountain, so it doesn't make much sense to pick these. So. Well, I will have to play one mountain, otherwise my Mesa doesn't fetch for red. But other than that, I can mostly play planes and blue. I do have a fair amount of double white and double blue. Yeah, mana is not going to be great. Like, it would be pretty solid if I had just one uh, blue-white fetchable land, but I don't. I wonder if I might not play Incinerate, just because I need early interaction and my red splash is going to be good enough where I can afford to play that, I think. And this is 23 cards because Muxbird count as a land. We will demonetize. Don't well. Hmm. Will I play that? Probably not. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Blue eye control with a through the breach show and tell package. Uh yeah, I mean, the deck is pretty cool. I, I like it. I, I just think it's... It would probably just be better if instead of these four cards I had maybe some more two drop, maybe something like uh, a cheap removal, like sorts, sorts to plowshare. It's funny though. It's it's like blue-white control, but with a twist. So there is that. There is that going on, going on for us. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sort by um, color. We have more blue. But, and we need blue a bit earlier, especially because of mana drain. But we still need the double white for these two co two cards that are pretty strong. Yeah, mana base is not gonna be great. But, oh well. We have Coalition Relic. So, um, we need one mountain, not more than that. And... Because of Mesa, Temple, and Mox Pearl, this is 6 white. Should probably go up to 7. And it would be 8 blue. 8 blue is not great. It's not great at all. Yeah, blue white land would really have helped. Especially since we could have potentially fetched it with Arin Mesa. Six white seems a little bit light to cast these, and eight blue seems a little bit light to cast these, so... Yeah, not the best mana base. I think we pretty much have to do that, though. Um, yep. Alright. Again, I think slightly better mana base. Maybe... Uh, you remove Shoentel through the breach and do two fatty, and you have a, just a solid blue white with a touch of red control deck here it's it's gonna be a bit more um challenging and uh i guess also funny i mean this deck can do some funny things and it's you know it's it's quite funny if my open things they are playing against blue white control and suddenly you know blight steel comes out of nowhere and one shot them like <laughs> i kind of love the, this idea so uh, yeah there is that um yeah, I think I'll just go with that. 
The thing is, I wonder if Manatise is not better than Incinerate, actually. I think it is, to be honest. It's also an earlier interaction, but it can deal with stuff that Incinerate cannot deal with. If I know that I'm going to play against a, a deck with cheap creature, maybe Incinerate is better, but I think in general against, you know, unknown deck, this is going to be uh, slightly better. So yeah, we'll do that. I hope you enjoyed the draft. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and see you for round uno.